hello everyone thank you for stopping on my channel in this video we are going to look at the things that can be added to this laravel e-commerce application that we are contributing to and i just got logged into my account we have completed one order in the previous video and just want to show you um we can carry on adding other features but i just want to show you guys um what are the possible features that can be added or um, we can look at uh, admin panel as well but um, for now you can see um, there was an issue with the stripe when we were placing in order maybe we can automate that or configure that uh, let me just open up for the admin panel as well okay there we go so if we look at uh, the uh, settings here we have just the basic settings right like title description etc etc but we can um, add things like login with google and we can pass those keys and values and settings stuff like that from here uh, and as well as we can do the same for the mails like smtp credentials and stuff like that we can add that and we can add uh, the um what is it called the um like when you register an account you should get uh, you should have to verify your from email in order to continue uh, and when the order replace you will get email when things are done some some sort of operations are done you should get email notification of that right and uh, that is something uh, it can be added now for now um, you can see only admin can add um, products to it right and, and uh, can manage the um, orders and stuff like that so what can uh, what we can do is we can make make it like multi window and user can register an account can register a seller account and can um, post um, products and just like uh, the um, OLX and um, websites like that, um, like Amazon, etc. Users can um, sell multiple vendors can sell uh, products. That's what I mean. Um, and there are a lot. So let's ask ChatGPT to list out the possible features that an e-commerce website can have. So I'm gonna ask it. Okay. So here we have user authentication. We already have that. Uh, login with uh, social media login so um let's just uh, document that so if any of you guys want to contribute to this this will be available on github uh, if we look here um here we have configured the basic uh, things let's just uh, do one thing let's add a section for contribution um want to contribute to this project here are all the features you can add and let's create a list one is social media logins second is a uh, user profile we are a product listing details category search functionality the search functionality i guess is not working um the same for the product ratings reviews and ratings um wish list is already there uh, card management quantity management um save for later so let's fast this save for later um number five is going to be address entry management multiple shipping options yeah we have payment gateway integrations I think uh, I should add this here like Fifal and others that also can be integrated into this uh, orders summary um, both of them uh, confirmation I think uh, we should have like email confirmation order confirmation number seven secure payment uh, credit card uh, I think credit card is also an option uh, let's payment uh, with PayPal and uh, credit card number eight order history uh, I think we already have this orders we have two orders, two entries in orders. Now uh, you can see we have the history only. Cancel um, and return order. Do we not have any feature like that? So uh, let's add this to the list. Cancel and return and um, take orders. Take orders. Nine. Um, this is also interesting. Um, email and SMS notifications. Number ten is gonna be customer feedback yeah reviews already added this is also added third party password reset functionality already there in the laravel application uh, account setting account setting um, and preferences uh, no idea about this sl encryption secure payment gateway two factor authentication yeah we can add two factor authentication though laravel uh, i think the uh, jetstream already had this feature but uh, responsive design for mobile um, I think it all it's already advanced search options so yeah we can add this um, if I look here search product search functionality with advanced option or advanced search options okay 
and sales analysis for the admin panel yeah we we do not have any graphs or something like that and uh, user behavior in analytics etc sharing for uh, social sharing of products yeah you can share products on social media on 13 uh, login with social media accounts promo codes yeah this is so promo codes and discounts yeah 14 the point is this, there are there are countless features that can be added but the point just want to like show you guys like what can you uh, do about this so now let's uh, create this uh, or let's configure the readme for installation and uh, you can add as uh, many features as you want so to add the installation instruction i already have a project we are all we are i added it so let me just copy this cut it from here and then uh, let's uh, remove this this uh contribution section is going to be at the end and i'm gonna uh, replace everything that is at the top so let's go to the top and this is the uh, ttn token purchase uh, I created this on YouTube video, um, demonstrated it actually. So let's remove this and uh, let's write this instruction for this. So this is a very let me write a basic, basic instruction for this. Okay, so that is the basic like uh, e Laravel based uh, e commerce application where admin can list the products and uh, with categories and users can search and find their product and buy it. And we have three payment options. Uh, prerequisites, yeah. Um, node is not required here metamask not required composer and php and installation is just clone the project um this is gonna be um i will be contributing this to the actual um, um let me go to my github the actual the, the one this is gonna be pushed to the one that uh, the main repo meaning the main repo is ma not mine right so we will put that one instead of ours this one so i'm gonna copy this and uh, come here and replace it that git the project name is laravel e-commerce uh, let's cd into that directory then you have to php install and pm rendezvous this is not required let's remove that uh, number fifth is going to be to copy the number four is going to be to copy the ene file to this and uh, we can see here as well let's um, enter okay copy the env file and then fourth five uh, is to generate a key sixth is uh, to migrate it as configure or not this configuration is also not required just to uh, serve the application this is going to be seven and uh, we do not have no uh, stuff for this so that is also fine contributing so then we have license so i think we can do something like if i copy everything from here um the listing is going to look like this like this you can see uh, this is an extension i'm using to directly view the readme files uh, and at the end i'm gonna paste this thing if you uh, give a star if you like this uh, if you like this project okay this is all so let's save this and see how this looks like right here also we can use jet chat gpt to create these mm, you can see looks interesting so far uh, let's change the title this is a uh, laravel e-commerce e-commerce spelling let's learn from google e-commerce f and that is it so now let's let's just uh, push this so we can see the changes using the git status let's do git add git commit readme file updated git push and we have successfully pushed this code to our github profile so let's view that and uh, we can contribute this let's uh, copy the instructions from here to the description so that everyone knows what is this all about a uh, lot of topics we have a uh, lot of it. f application uh, e-commerce e-commerce project this is laravel e-commerce and uh, what should i write uh, e-commerce e-commerce website okay save it now i'm gonna contribute open full request and uh, we have all the commits history create full request i added a lot of stuff please review and uh, accept the full request also if you add your features to this and you want to contribute to add to like you want to um, open a pull request to the main repo uh, this repo you can write the same description if you want um please review the changes i made and bugs i fixed and uh, accept the full request then then okay create full request okay request successfully added and once this is uh, reviewed 
you can add comments as well like you can what you want to discuss with the actual owner of the project the open source project then uh, once the uh, the uh, once the uh, pull request is accepted it will be displayed the each and everything will be displayed right here so now if you want like if you have you know, added any feature this you can also do the same for this so now the things that we listed here uh, we asked JGPT to create a list of features that you can be added so if you want to add just add it and contribute it you can see the blog is integration um, I think we tested the blog section already so that is all about uh, contributing to open source project uh, uh, do contribute to open source projects because um, open source uh, this is what makes us great community because we, we can the open source projects uh, people trust him because they are open source because of developers so that is all about uh, this laravel e-commerce application thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one